Hi, you guys. <laughs> Finally made it home. Nala is still asleep in the car seat. I didn't even want to. I didn't even want to move her. I didn't want to disturb her. I just left her in it. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Welcome me. Welcome you to my channel. I am Vicky J. If you are not new to the channel, um, then you don't know that we do this every Sunday, but we do. Today I'm a little late because I went to Boston to grab some samples of luxury foundations. And uh, it was a nice trip. I'll have some vlog footage for you guys on Tuesday. And then um, I'll also do like a, like a little haul of just the Sephora stuff. But I'm gonna show you everything that I got today. And then um, throw some makeup on, have a chat, play with the Decadent Star Wars palette and just chat about whatever you guys would like to talk about. I am sipping on something called a Jamaica. <laughs> uh, it's from Anna's Taqueria and um, it's yummy. It's like a hibiscus kind of drink. I like it. Nala was a little hungry, so we ended up getting some chick uh, burrito bowl with chicken and rice and beans and all that. And I also used, hey, Nick, hey Nika, welcome. I also used my $10 birthday reward from Godiva to get myself some truffles. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Got some truffles. So that was one thing that I purchased at the Prudential Center. I also, because uh, Pandora was having 50% off sale, got myself another ring. Because fun. Why not? Um, and I just, hey Patrice, I had her pack it up just because I wanted to be fancy. <laughs> I also didn't wear any makeup because I wanted to swatch stuff today. I did a lot of swatching. Hey Dandelion. I did a lot of swatching, y'all. I swatched myself raw. <laughs> But yeah, um, I got a very like simple ring. It wasn't, it's just something I kind of always wanted and never really grabbed. It's um, this Hearts of Pandora ring that has the little hearts on the outer portion. And then on the side, it actually reads Pandora. And this is an eight and a half. This one is a nine. It's the same Hearts of Pandora line, but it's the one with the little cubic zirconias in it. So I'm just going to stack them. Just like this. Boom. <laughs> Cute. And that was it from Pandora. So we got truffles from Godiva. A ring from Pandora. <laughs> Thank you. And then we got Nala some goodies from our favorite place. Janie and Jack. Hello, Yannick. Good afternoon. So yeah, went to Janie and Jack. They're having up to 60% off. So I grabbed a couple things for Nala. Well, my mother grabbed some stuff and so did I. I grabbed one thing and my mom grabbed an outfit. Um, these are some very cute little pants. Hello, Kim. Hey, Vanna. Welcome. So these are adorable, um, size 2T. Nala is very true to size in Janie and Jack. So we got her these cute plaid pants and to go with it, with it that's it is this look at the tail on the fox ah so cute ah is this i know right goodness just she is going to look adorable in this and then this is from my mother. And then I picked her up a separate outfit. I picked her, I just couldn't get over this, um, this little knit sweater dress. Isn't this gorgeous? She's gonna look so cute in this. And I have plenty of stuff to coordinate with it. I'm talking leggings, undershirts, you name it. Got plenty of stuff to go with it, so cannot wait to style this up. Th 
thank you. It has a little bit of shimmer to it in the knit. There's a little bit of sparkle. <coughs> and then, then I went to Sephora. I spent a lot of time in Sephora. I think I spent an hour in Sephora. <laughs> I was swatching everything. And I'm so glad that I went in there and swatched because the color matches from Sephora were hit and miss. Some of them were spot on and some were not. So um, I did not find a match in Luminous Silk. <laughs> right? Um, I did not find a match in Luminous Silk, uh, but I did find one. In, I went to the Sephora in Prudential Center in Boston. And they had pretty much everybody in there. They had um, everything. The only thing that they didn't have anymore is Christian Louboutin Beauty. So it, they don't have a display in there anymore. They used to. So I just got this like shower cap as one of my rewards. Um, I also got the, as a, 13 didn't work. Um, well, 13, I didn't swatch 13. I swatched 11, 11 and a half and 12 no 11 and 11 and a half because that was what i was matched towards i didn't do 13 so i guess i'll have to um uh, have to try that one later but i got all the other uh okay i got all the other ones though i got five out of the six so i feel like i did pretty good and then for this hundred point gift i got the bobby brown vitamin and rich face base i've been wanting to try it out so i'm glad they had one Girl, stay asleep. <laughs> and I was sleeping and I was just like, please sleep. You need a nap because we had to get up a little earlier. And then they had a 300 point gift, which I'm not familiar with. I didn't know they did that. This is a Tatcha item because I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give it another chance. This has two items in it. It has the water cream and let's see, the deep cleanse. I haven't used it in a while and my skin has changed so I'm gonna give it another chance. So there we are. I think this is nice for 300 points. I mean I'm talking about Sephora and how they give you a paper clip for 500 points so this is actually pretty good. Um, and then I think the shower cap was 500 <laughs> points. So I spent like a thousand little under a thousand like 900 points on all those and then I'm trying to get the boring stuff out of the way I got cleansing wipes three packs of these yeah. three packs of cleansing wipes so I got aloe watermelon and rose because I am down to about this many wipes so <laughs> I had to re-up and then, let's see, I grabbed a backup of my favorite Lash Glue House of Lashes. Mm. I hear you. I also didn't see this before, but I'm really glad that I actually took a peek on the way um, through the line because um, ABH has these mini dip brow gels and I got medium brown to try it out. So I have some, like some of my brows are, brow hairs are actually blonde from bleaching. So I'm gonna try this out in setting my brows after I put on the medium brow powder and see if that helps. And then, ooh, she gave me some drunk elephant. The girl in line I gave her my YouTube handle <laughs> she was really cute um, got some samples oh. <laughs> a more Pacific samples algenist and drunk elephant oh yeah I like this stuff I'm glad she gave me some more samples
And then the items that I... I got the Hourglass Veil Concealer. Damn, I forgot the F-bomb. I'm sorry. You told me while I was in there too. I am just a mess. Okay. I can probably get that around here though. I don't, I don't have to go to Boston for that. But I got this in, um, I know, I know. There's always Tuesday. Umber is the shade that I got. Didn't you get Umber, Kim? In the uh, Hourglass Concealer? Oh. Ooh, a little card came out. Directions for use. Beautiful. Love the way it's packaged. This is gorgeous. Goes really well with the um, foundation. So yeah, for anybody who is similar to our skin tone, <laughs> yeah, this is the Hourglass Concealer. The consistency it's very nice and um i just I, I just like this color i thought this color was really nice i didn't even try brandy i didn't want to go too dark so i think that one was a little further down um and the some of them representatives were like in the way i also got that uh one of the bobby brown yara collabs umber u-m-b-e-r that's the shade that I got. Wait a minute. I think I grabbed the wrong one. I do. I do. It feels amazing. I'm not even going to open this because I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> this is the one that I didn't get to swatch. Oh, man. Okay, so Kim had told me about the Yara uh, collab with Bobby Brown. Yara Shahidi from Blackish and Grownish and all of that. No, this is like a reddish. I actually wanted the nude shade. I wanted the flesh tone shade. Instead of getting this, I mean, the consistency was really nice. I wonder should I keep it? I don't want to I don't want to open it <laughs> I did not mean to get this mm -hmm. okay well I know they have a Bobby Brown display at um, Providence Place so I'll just you know on the way to work maybe I'll stop over there and exchange it it was not like Vaseline it felt beautiful and I ain't never had no brown Vaseline <laughs> So you got the pinkish one. I swatched that one too. I swatched that one and the um, the brown one, but they didn't. One second, sorry. Okay. It was very sheer, yes. But I think it could build up a little. I'm going to try it again. We'll see. I did not want this shade. Ugh. So, I'll be taking this back. I'm going to suck at my receipt. <laughs> okay. So, here are all my samples. Here's the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau in 5C. It was the shade that I settled on that I thought was closest match. And then Shiseido um, Synchro Skin was um, the shade that worked best for me was Topaz 460. That, that was the one that I liked the best. 
rosewood I felt was too red. Uh, amber was too yellow. Um, so I, I was settled for that. And then for La Mer, I got Sienna number 63. Out of all the shades, it was the closest. I wouldn't say it's an exact match, but it was close. I also picked up Guerlain's Natural Glow Foundation. That's the one in that really pretty bottle. The shade that I liked in that one was 55W. And I tried like the three that were closest and then I came like settled on that. And then for the Armani, I went with the Power Fabric. I like the consistency. Which one are you in Shiseido? Um, the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric, I chose number 12. This one looked really good. And the consistency of this is really, really nice. That luminous silk was a little too thin for me. Um, the, it seemed like I would have to build up the coverage. Just the power fabric. I didn't get the luminous silk. All right, well, that's it. That's everything. So let's get some makeup on. I'm gonna put this on as my primer just to try it out because I'm not planning to keep my makeup on that long today. What do you think I should try first? I'm gonna try one of the samples. Oh, your copper, okay. Wow, this is thickums. Yes, I did. I don't, that one kind of exaggerated my oil production and it didn't set for me. I almost grabbed the concealer. If I didn't get the hourglass one, I was going to get the Giorgio Armani. I'm going to need a little more. It feels nice. It smells good. It smells very good. You want me to try Guerlain? Okay. I have two Guerlain. You want the, me to try the one in the fancy bottle? That's a nice coverage. Hi, lovely. Mm. Well, that's next then, um, Kim. That'll be next on my list. All right, yeah, that gives me a nice glow. Feels very, very good. Mm -hmm. Little sip of my hibiscus juice. And pull away my makeup wipes. All right, so that was the Guerlain Natural Glow. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna start with this one today. My diffuser brush, get a nice clean brush. start with that much a little more on my chin I'm gonna start there because this is this seems like it's full coverage those were lily lashes in the shade in the style yes clean from that same line that's on sale for $22. Man, this match is nice. Coverage is beautiful too. I don't wanna to go too crazy in the um, areas that I'm gonna conceal. I don't wanna waste product. This is lovely. Hmm. 
I didn't even look at how much it was. <laughs> I'm just like, if I like it, I'll get it. Simple pimple. Hello, Rhea. Welcome, welcome. We are putting on the Guerlain Natural Glow Foundation in 55 Warm. This is a very thick consistency, but it blends out nicely. You see that? I'm gonna really go to town over here because I have the worst hyperpigmentation on this side of my face. This is number 64, the Sephora Pro Diffuser. Um, let me see. It's about three o'clock. I'll probably be up until about midnight. So I'll wear it until I'm like dead tired. And I think it's a 16 hour wear. I'm just gonna add a touch more to my forehead to cover up that blemish. And then um, I'm gonna move on to concealer. Not covering as well as um, Too Faced. You can still definitely see it compared to the Too Faced foundation. So build it up a little. Yeah, it does have a very nice finish. Try to keep these in order. Put it right back in the pack. Oh, so this one over here. Got a, little, a few more blemishes around that area. I would say it's a medium buildable coverage. Yes, it does. It's a very thick consistency, so I feel like it does, it will build to full coverage. I'm gonna actually, let me use this right here and just go around it. Cause I think that's how I blended it in last time. Hi Carson, welcome. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna let that set down and then we're gonna focus on concealer next. And since I think, no, I put, I put uh, something on that. So I'm gonna grab some more brushes. All right, cool. I really like this brush for concealer, but I also like this one. And I like this one. I think I'm gonna use the Fenty one. I applied the Giorgio, no, the uh, Guerlain Natural Glow Foundation in 55 Neutral. Nope, 55 Warm. Yes, 55W. <laughs> okay, I'm liking that. So let's move on, let's add the Hourglass to the mix. And again, 
This Hourglass Concealer is in the shade Umber. Let's start off modestly and see where we end up. <laughs> they always come out with a brush though. Whenever they come out with a complexion product, they come out with a brush. Ain't nobody spending 40 something dollars on a brush. I mean, they're nice and all, but I got something to blend out my concealer. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh my God, this color is so pretty. Yeah. Oh, and I swatched some more Tom Ford lip glosses and um, their stick foundation. That was the only complexion product that they had besides concealer. And um, the stick foundation felt greasy. Very thick and greasy. So I didn't even bother. And they didn't have a shade match for me. This is, this is nice. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect it not to be nice. You know, because I really love Hourglass Complexion products. It blends seamlessly into this um, foundation. The undertone is, is perfect. And it's full coverage. The undertones work really well together. I didn't look at how much it was. <laughs> was it like, what was it, like $34 or something? I just know it's going to be expensive because <laughs> see now you're going to have me look at brandy too because I didn't even look at that shade I didn't even swatch it yeah this is very brightening without being too golden. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to set this with. I really like my Fenty powders, so. Mm-hmm. Nice seamless blend, honey. 
Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Finish is beautiful. I definitely am going to get a probably another shade. So I'm going to take honey and set that. Same brush. Well, I gotta I gotta check out Brandy. Teak was too neutral for me. I wasn't um sold on that one, especially when it started to uh, set. It just got darker. Yeah, that's freaking gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Cur Curly Ree, and welcome. Girl, I ain't going nowhere. I just got home. I'm spiced rum all the time. <laughs> but I think you were asking that too, Kim. I couldn't wear chai because it was too golden. I'm considered a warm neutral. The Sephora app always picks up, or the uh, color IQ at Sephora always picks up on my yellow undertones though. I wonder should I even set the rest of my face? Okay. Just making sure I set right there because I'm going to put on some pat shadows. I'm gonna give it at least seven hours. Yeah, this is pretty. I really like the natural finish on um, the Guerlain foundation. Now that it's set down, it's just, you know, it's skin-like. And my under eyes look flawless right now. Just saying. I could look at my skin all day. <laughs> I could look at myself like this for a while. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with cashew. Very, very light dusting of it though because I don't wanna mess with the color. This is a natural light coming in from the window, just so you guys can see. The Hourglass Vanish Concealer in Umber with the Guerlain Natural Glow Foundation in 55W. And now we're gonna break into this bad boy. Okay. I 
am gonna play I'm gonna play in that beautiful um, aubergine and maybe the color like right underneath it. That looks like fun. Mm. I need a very fluffy brush. Cleaning off my brush here. I think I got some in my eye. Make sure I'm all right. I felt some go in my eye. All right, I'm in the clear. Ooh. <clears throat> well, that's a transition for the girls. I am gonna get my smudge on. Do we see what we're doing here? Just two shades on the top. And I'm gonna bring this one down and then add the rest of this, rest of my lower lash line with this one here.
No, I didn't have to. Off. I look with the decadence. Now, since I had it, let us pop the inner corner with silver, with the uh, platinum there. That's that on there. I love how easy it is with pat shadows. It's just, it's just always easy. Thank you. So, oh, you know what? That was my brain telling me to go get my pad liners because they're in here and there we are so today i want to do something fun we've done like this aubergine i'm gonna use deep void in my waterline that like really dark purple still running I don't know why I'm definitely definitely took my allergy guys So pretty, that little hint of purple. And of course, extreme black on the upper lash line. I think I'm gonna try to smudge it on my lash line as well. <laughs> Gotta really concentrate. one down. I can never get this done without my eye watering. One day. One day I hope to achieve that. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. 
Hmm. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what I want to put on my lips. I was going to use the Bobbi Brown, but that's not what I want. So maybe that new YSL. I'm going to have to rummage through my lip products and see what I can do. sensitive eyes this doesn't always happen there are some days where I can get this done in like record time and some days where it just doesn't want me to be great I meant to get the nude one that's what I really wanted the pink one it was pretty but it just didn't thank you I feel like you can definitely intensify this aubergine shade. I'm actually going to try to do it. Yeah, I just am curious to see if I can um, intensify it. brush here Mm. Well, how you doing? Now, <clears throat> I've gotten pretty far. I think I want to reward myself with some chocolate. So, let's take a peek in this truffle box and see what we got. Let's see. Hmm. It does. I'm going to do the um, chocolate lava. This is the chocolate lava truffle. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> wow. On Lee. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm, there we go. There's a the chocolate lava. Mm. <laughs> this is fantastic. It's almost like a caramel. This is delicious. <laughs> you're doing you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. That is what we all should be doing. This eye looks pretty. I talked myself out of all the Fenty shadows. I swatched them and I was like, I have all these colors. 
I don't have the rosy ones. Like, I don't have that set, but I don't need it either. And what else did I swatch and say never mind about? I wanted some more Pat McGrath lipsticks. Beautiful Creature is gorgeous. That lip shade, I need it. Um, that was it from her. Um, what else did I swatch and see? Mm, the Tom Ford, no, 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 the Guerlain lipsticks. I don't want none of them damn lipsticks. I wanted them because of the whole like customization thing. Yeah, they are. You're right, Kim. But the Guerlain, because uh, the formula for Guerlain, both matte and um, the more moisturizing one, are really nice. The shades are nothing special, in my opinion. I was going to try the PH one, the one that's like a universal lip shade. I think it's like 520. And it's supposed to color according to your pH. It's just lip balm. <laughs> and I already have two expensive lip balms. I don't need no more doggone lip balm. So even if it does come in a really pretty case that you can absolutely customize right there in the store. That was really cute. But none of the, like, well, there was a brown shade that I thought was nice. But again, that's not exactly special. I have a lot of brown lipsticks. So, you know, there was really no point. So I gave up on that. Um, now I'm just gonna bronze a little bit. I am, but I'm going to order the um, Lunar New Year Limited Edition Guerlain Givenchy lipstick. It's a Givenchy lipstick. That one looks like it's the one. So I'm really hoping that it is. Yeah, this is a good nose contour. Kind of brush. This is a little mocha mommy. Oh, damn, I used the wrong brush. Well, we're here. <laughs> I'm not going to waste no makeup. I know that. All right. Now I'll go to the right one. There we go. Number 50. <laughs> she takes me out every time. Every time. going to skip um, blush, but I am going to do a little bit of highlighter. Metal Moon from Fenty. This is like my favorite. That's definitely for the kids. That whole gimmick is for the children. That's not for her grown um, market demographic. That's not even something her ass would, <laughs> would carry around. I don't believe Rihanna would carry this shit around. bust out these eyebrows real quick I feel like she could wear this tomorrow 
or even Tuesday. I'll do it Tuesday on my day off. I'll put her in that outfit. Take some pictures. I think that'll be fun. Oh, she's supposed to be going on Wednesday somewhere with her dad. Maybe I can put it on her then. in here you know what i'm gonna be real obnoxious today and put these back on <laughs> i'm gonna put these back on because these right here yeah. camel camel lashes <laughs> and i mean that in the best way <laughs> so this is fun we're starting off with this um man listen i'm already ready to buy this this is nice this is a really nice match. Really cute finish. Can't wait to see. I can't wait to see how this wears. I hope this wears really well because I love the consistency. I love the shade match. I love the finish. Like, so far, so good. So I hope it has a really good wear time and I hope it don't break me out because if it does, like, if, if I can just meet those requirements, then it is a contender to go on the shelf. Right. So we're just going to get the brows together. And I think I'm going to use the Fenty Brow MVP. And then set it with the Anastasia Brow Powder. I mean the uh, Tinted Brow Gel. So this is medium brown from Fenty. And I'm going to grab my mirror. this chair oh my goodness um let me use because i'm gonna need one anyway clean my darn mirror off this child always touches something just driving me crazy where the paper towel is at what's going on here did she move that too she moved that too. Oh, no. I moved it. Give me a keys in my baby. Okay, that is better. That is better. <laughs> It's not great. It's still a quite a bit streaky. I need some glass cleaner, but I can see myself. Okay, okay, we're good. We're in business. Yeah, okay. These lashes are trimmed and used. Was that that simple? She did say he looks like Idris. She said that more than once, so I want to meet him. I mean, not meet him, but I want to see him. Show me the receipts. <laughs> That's a good brow. I didn't have to do much. I like that angle and everything. This one always behaves. What am I even saying?
Yeah, I like beefy. I miss when the hubs was a little beefy. When I first met him, he was, I think, 220 or something like that. And now he's 195. And I'm like, hey, 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 eat this. <laughs> I want my, my little, mm, I want that little belly back. He's squeezing his little man boobies. Now he doesn't have any. Okay, that works. And then we're gonna set that with the tinted brow gel. I'm hoping that it looks good. I don't know how I grabbed the wrong, but it was in the wrong place, that's why. I hate when they do that. Whoever is shopping, they put it in the wrong section. Even the uh, Tom Ford quads were not in the right place. That's why I always check the back of the products now. Why does this feel dry? Anything in here? Yeah, this is doing what I want it to do. No. Mm -mm. I think I'm going to come your way for those five quads. I'm going to come down to um, the mall you were telling me about, that luxury mall in Connecticut. all right I mean all that's left now is lips right yeah that sounds good to me so let's have a look at what we got for lips because I'm thinking I want to do um either this right here or this right here or even um the Fenty, that like, that little holiday one, something like that. I want to do a dark lip. Ugh. So here we have YSL. Um, what's the shade? Something about some prune, number 97. It's like a... Bordeaux meets prune. Then we have Fenty Stunner Lip Paint in Underdog. And we have Dior's um, Dior Addict uh, Lip Plump something or other. And this is in Dior Lee, I believe. And it looks darker when you swatch it, by the way, than it does in the actual tube. And then here's the YSL swatch. And the Fenty swatch. Hey Maya, we're picking lipsticks. Dior, YSL, Fenty. What do we think? Y'all let me know while I get myself together. Fenty from Kim. Let me see that again. Oh, 
that doesn't look too bad there. Eight and a half was the only size they had that was close. I usually wear a nine, but it doesn't, it's not uncomfortable and it comes right off. So I think it does look a little snug though. Okay, so I've got one vote for Fenty. Anybody else want to chime in? This bomb feels nice. Did I get what today? Okay, Asha wants Dior. Yeah, I got it today. I have eight and a half, so I was like, okay, because it fits this hand better than this hand. This hand's fatter than this one, so I'll just switch off. I need um I need a tiebreaker. <laughs> we got one vote for Fenty, we got one vote for um Dior. <laughs> you can't vote again, Kim. This one here. This one's Fenty Maya. I'm assuming by red you mean this one, Maya. Because it's the, the reddest looking. Okay, so Dior has two votes. Anybody else going once, going twice? Man, that's that. Those ton of lip paints. Kim, you can't keep up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do Dior lip adding lip stain. <laughs> Now, has anyone tried the YSL lip stains? Because they're nice too. I actually like used up my YSL lip stain. I loved it so much I kept wearing it until I actually ran out of it. And then that's when I discovered the Dior. These feel really weightless and have a gang of pigmentation, like popping. And once it dries down, you know, transfer is minimal. I wouldn't say it's transfer proof. Um, but yeah, this color is like really, really pretty. I love it. All right. So, lashes. I think somebody's waking up. Now, I think I have to curl my lashes for these. Nah. No, I don't, I'm good. So I'm just gonna get some mascara on and then we're gonna pop those lashes on. Yes. 
I'm not gonna be too perfect about it because I'm blending them into the lashes so I'd probably pay more attention if I were just wearing mascara. And then y'all know what I'm gonna do after this. Put this stuff away and go eat the rest of my burrito bowl. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta like really give it up to myself for getting in and out of Boston as fast as I did today. <laughs> like, I dread going to Boston. <laughs> I don't know, Kim. You might have to take it out with Anna or Maya or Asha. Oh Lord. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> We're looking good. We look like we have lashes. They are present. Present and accounted for. So now. Where are we? Let's get her together. Got lash glue and lash applicator. So I used these once, put them away, and then did not bring them back out. And I don't know why, because I enjoy them. Mm -mm. What is it? What's it called? Number 23's from Huda Beauty called Hoodie. That's what these lashes are. 19 bucks. At our good friend Sephora. Make sure I don't have any extra glue on here. Actually, have quite a bit of glue on here. Bambi mascara. Oh, that must give you a lot of uh, thickness, a lot of volume. I used to like Ms. Manga, but I don't have as many lashes as I used to. All right, there we go, nice and clean. That is my left lash. These kind of look the same on both sides, so I have to be careful and really focus. Enjoying this eye look. Really, really enjoying it. I think I just need a skosh more product. I did too much. Crap. All right, 
think, yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get. What did everybody do today? How was our Sunday? Because as far as I'm concerned, it's like half over. think I'm ready to put them on. Now that's a Bambi lash right there. Yeah, these are pretty extra. Ew. Yeah, these are some in your face lashes. That's why I don't wear them as often. They're huge. Humongous. Let me try to bring it down a, a hair. Well, they're on there. Last lash. And it really and truly doesn't matter when I start these things. I always take at least an hour and a half. <laughs> Lives always take at least an hour and a half. Too funny. I try to be good. It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't really work. Does anybody do resolutions anymore? Because I, I do not. Okay. Lash glue. Oh, what did you choose uh, for your resolution, Dandelion? I think those are all achievable. Those are all very doable, which is good. I have such a bad habit of picking that one up. <laughs> Shoot. I have been having a reoccurring dream about that. Not that I won the lottery because I don't play, but that my grandmother did. I 
I did, but it was late. So. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. I'm gonna double back. As a matter of fact, as soon as I get off of here, I got a couple things to take care of, a little tidying up, and then I get to like relax before my husband gets home. So I can just focus because this one back here, she's going in that living room and playing. I, I don't have time. She was in rare form at the mall and actually it was like pretty good. She played with this dog and said hi to some kids and was really cute and funny. Um, but she was also kind of whiny because we wouldn't let her run off. <laughs> so... I was like, hey, toddler being a toddler. When it's nice and sticky and it stays put as soon as you put it down that's the move that's what we want and you just pinch it into your natural lashes and you are done One more time with the Q-tip in my waterline because I'm a sensitive eye mess. Done. All done, y'all. So I'm gonna do what I always do, which is carry you guys over to the light so we can see how we're looking. And I'll give you guys my progress report on this foundation at the end of the night. So about midnight-ish, I'll let you guys know how I feel about the Guerlain Natural Glow Foundation. All right. Thank you so much for watching today, you guys. Please don't forget to like on your way out. And I will see you Tuesday with an edited video of um, the trip through the Prudential Mall. And I'll probably do like a mini haul at that point as well. All right, you guys. Happy Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your uh, weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye.